So we have a trade. Maybe not a big one, but could be a medium one if Ariza's still got something in the tank. The Heat traded for Trevor Ariza. They traded Myers Leonard, whose career is over. And a 2027 second round pick for the guy, so some 14-year-old might end up on OKC someday. Uh, basically, it comes down to if Ariza's still good. Now, I did a video like a couple hours ago where I just basically was like, I don't think Ariza still got it. I mean, he was good with the Blazers. The 20 games he played, the three-point shooting was awesome. The defense held up okay enough. He's 35 now. He's closer to 36 than he is 35. And I have some doubts on whether you can just throw him in there for 25 minutes a game in a playoff series. But Miami, for one, might not really need that. They might just need another guy to get him through this year. Uh, until the playoffs, then maybe you can play him, I don't know, 10 minutes a game in the playoffs, and then a couple games he can pop off, that sort of thing. Uh, but it also gives them kind of a Jay Crowder-esque dude again, which they, of course, benefited from greatly last year, because Crowder could guard in the wing, and he could also make threes, and you would hope Ariza can do the same thing. Again, it just comes down to, does he really still got it? Now, I, th I think an interesting thing is, even though they did acquire that guy, I don't think we're going to see Ariza given the same treatment as Crowder was in terms of like becoming the starting power forward and going with four perimeter guys around Bam. Like Olenek has been playing next to Bam for most of this season, and Myers Leonard did it a bit as well before, you know, that whole spiel happened. And I just want to see like how much is Miami going to go into the bam as the lone big guy thing that worked so well for them last season now it's not as if they couldn't have leaned into it more before they made this deal i mean you could play jimmy at power forward and then between Dragic, nun hero robinson i mean you could have iguodala defend some power forwards and it'd probably be all right of course in the nba nowadays you could technically have the two guard on the power forward and it's not even a big deal but the point I'm getting at is I don't know if Trevor Reese is going to be the thing that makes them go, all right, time to go back to what we were doing last year, but it at least gives them another guy. And I mean, why not? If you could get off of Leonard and spend a pick that you don't care about for the chance of Trevor Ariza still being good, then why not do it? And if he is still good and he can be a good defender and he can shoot, I don't know, 37% from three, then... That's a hell of a luxury for Miami, because <laughs> then it's another guy that you have to actually care about out there, as Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero are flying around, and as Bam is setting screens for Dragic, and as Jimmy is doing his isos and his pick and rolls and all that uh, good stuff. I don't know if Ariza is going to be in a whole lot of motion offense. I mean, maybe more than nothing, because that's kind of Spolstra's M.O., but even so, he mainly just does that with like Dragic and Hero and especially Robinson. A little bit with Kendrick Nunn. A little bit with Jimmy, too, with some cuts to the basket. I don't know. Are we going to see Ariza cut into the rim when Bam is doing his stuff up top? It's possible. Now, if Ariza is still good, and he can still defend, then maybe you could see him have some possessions on, let's say, Tobias, if they meet in the playoff series. There's a decent chance the Celtics and the Heat will meet in round one, which terrifies me. And if that's the case, it's another guy that you could... Maybe see defending, uh, you know, Tatum or Jalen. It's not going to be the primary thing. I understand that. But in the flow of an NBA game, sometimes Ariza might get switched on to one of those guys. And, well, if he's still going to be all right, then you like his chances on them more so than you would, uh, like, Kendrick Nunn or Hero. So, again, why not if you're Miami? I mean, if anything, what this could give you is just basically Iguodala, but with a more reliable jump shot. And as I say this, he killed my Celtics in the game six, I remember. Probably doesn't give you as much playmaking as Iguodala, but, you know, Iguodala's so old, it's also like, how much playmaking are you really hoping from him at this point? So yeah, I think I've stretched this out enough. Basically, if Ariza can defend and make threes, cool. If he can't, it's not like the Heat spent much on him anyway. And if he is good, perhaps he would make Spolster feel a little bit better about moving away from two big guys and just one big guy with Bam because it worked so well for him last year. Anyway, uh, that's it.